my first thought when I drive to work is, let's see what I can expect today. When I'm asked what I do, I say I'm a chemical plant operator. Then the next question is, a buyer? And I say, no, in Fairview. And many people say, ah, in Zubish. And I reply, no, in Grapin. I did my retraining in Lina, and everyone applied to Lina, but not everyone found a job there. For this reason, I decided from the start that I would apply somewhere further away. I sent my application to Verbio in Zurbik, and it worked straight away. I got a job. I'm a plant operator. I'm responsible for process supervision and management and making sure that everything works smoothly. So I have to make sure that the production is running smoothly, whether all parameters are being met. If something's not right, I have to intervene and also coordinate with the other team members about what changes they need to make, when, and exactly how they'll do it. In my training, I hadn't seen anything like this. The first time I stood here in the control room, I thought, wow, what is this? <laughs> We regularly train chemical plant operators here. The big advantage is that the entire training process is done in Bitterfeld and Wolfen. That means that the trainees don't have to travel long distances in their everyday commute. Instead, everything is close by. My shift includes a shift leader, a deputy shift leader, the production control system operators, and the field workers. You really have to communicate continuously in the team. You can't do it alone. I work together with the plant operator teams. We and the field workers supervise the entire plant because the overall operation is quite challenging, complex and spread out over a large area. This gives us a great advantage because no one person can be everywhere at once. There are always challenges. I always say the plant does not forgive mistakes. I don't just sit in the control room. Instead, we change over the various tasks on a regular basis so that the plant operators don't forget what it's like on the outside in the plant, and the field operators don't forget how the plant works. Here, we are continually optimizing the process and always trying to find ways of simplifying work to keep staff safe and healthy. There is never a day when I don't have to laugh at work. I have the guys in check, definitely. <laughs> There is no reason to fear new projects. It's important to think, I am with this, I will have a look, and I will be a part of it. Everything can be learned. When you start at Verbio, there is a familiarization plan, which explains in general terms what techniques and what plant components you need to understand general operations. I always say learning by doing, that's the best way to learn. It's important that an employer stands by its employees, and that we, as employees, are given a helping hand. In my case, for example, Berbio paid for my master craftsman training. When there are problems, the team members speak to me as a master craftsman, and I set about finding a solution. That's definitely a challenge, but it's absolutely worth it. I can make a contribution to making things work properly. Everyone who drives a diesel always has some biodiesel from Verbio in their tank anyway, because of the additives. A lot of people don't know that. I'm a part of that, and that is great. I can say, I am a part of all that. <laughs>